Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to this week's episode of Backwoods Escape. So I'm gonna build upon my last video where I reviewed the Rhino Rack, which if you've not seen that video, go ahead and check it out right here. But as opposed to focusing on the gear that I use in the backcountry, I also want to focus and put emphasis on the tools I use to get my gear to the backcountry or wherever it is that I'm going. So this week I'm talking about the Skybucks Carbonite 16 by Yakima, which you can see right here. So this is something that I put on top of my roof rack. Um, it is 16 cubic feet, hence the name Skybox Carbonite 16. There are other models of different sizes. This is just the one that I ended up going with, but it's from Yakima, very high quality and reputable brand. The build is really good. You can compare it to the uh, size. There's a lot of stuff that goes in here. I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, uh, around there. So it's taller than me. It, it is a big piece of equipment, but it also means that it can fit a lot of your gear in there. Now this comes in weighing at 47 pounds. So even though it is very big, it's actually still very lightweight and it's not going to put too much extra weight or unneeded weight onto your vehicle. The other great feature about this is that it has an excellent aerodynamic shape. So it's not going to make a whole lot of noise. So I have the Rhino Rack, which has an aerodynamic shape. I've got this, which also has an aerodynamic shape. And so honestly, when I was driving with the two of them, I really didn't hear a whole lot of extra noise. You could have fooled me and told me that there was actually nothing on top of my roof. They're really, really great at minimizing the amount of noise in your vehicle because of their aerodynamic shape. So I really like that a lot. The other great feature about this Yakima is that regardless of the width of your rack, right? So whether your, the, your rack bars are this far apart or this far apart, the hooks in here are actually adjustable. So you can move them forwards and backwards. And so it can really fit to any roof rack out there. So it's fully customizable. The other great thing about this uh, roof rack right here is that it can actually be opened from both sides, which I absolutely love because sometimes when you're fitting in a bunch of gear into one of these uh, boxes, right? You can't fully reach the other side and maybe there's some extra space there where you could put some other stuff in. Well, as opposed to having to get like a bigger step or climbing on top of your car or anything like that, the great thing about this model is that um, it opens up nicely from both sides. I actually just recently took this up to the mountains and it really went through a pretty nasty test. I came encounter with super, super high winds, at least 30 miles an hour, if not higher, blizzard conditions, really, really heavy snow. Not only did it hold up, it didn't break or anything like that. So that's also a testament to the Rhino Rack that performed really well with those super high winds. But with the snow conditions, it kept all my gear completely dry, right? So when I got to the mountain, there was no water or precipitation anywhere to speak inside of the Carbonite Skybox. So I was really happy with the performance of that. So being able to put it in those types of conditions and walk away with good, clean gear, dry gear, I was, I'm just very pleased with this uh, piece of equipment. So in terms of downsides, and I would say this is basically actually the same downside for all of these cargo boxes from the quality brands. When I say quality brands, right, I'm primarily thinking of Yakima and Thule. It is expensive. I'm not going to hide that. I would actually recommend is buy a used one. This one's used. I saved myself hundreds of dollars by going the used route, and I'm very glad I did. You don't have to really be concerned about the fact that it's been used by someone else before. These things are insanely durable. Super, super tough. Like I said, I put it through just some really nasty conditions. It still looks brand spanking new. They're built to last. Go on some sort of used product markets. I got mine on the Facebook marketplace, save myself a ton of money. So that's definitely what I recommend for you as well. So hopefully you found this video useful. If there's any other pieces of gear you would like for me to review, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to give it a test and let you know my thoughts. Until next time, see ya.